It's Nick's Psychotronic History of Sci-Fi. Oh yeah, we're going right into it. Battlefield Earth by L. Ron Hubbard is a massive work of heroes and monsters set in a world after the apocalypse. It's a callback to the early pulp short stories that made him famous that he was in love with when he was young. The story tells of a somewhat primitive man on a somewhat primitive Earth who encounters large, hairy aliens called the Cyclos. I guess they're supposed to look like Chewbacca? He gets captured by the lead alien, but gains a hold of their knowledge, and uses their knowledge against them, organizing an army of his fellow men and rebelling against their alien masters. But wait, there's more! He goes on to defend the Earth from other invading aliens, not to mention worrying about a counterattack from Planet Cyclo. The novel is massive, a whopping thousand pages of action that explodes from every chapter, though it seems to drag some in the latter half. It was of course turned into the 2000 film starring John Travolta, which has gone down in history as one of the worst films ever made. Poor Hubbard, he finally gets a movie made and that's how it turns out. Damn. But lastly, the best thing about this book is the dedication in the beginning to pulp sci-fi writers of his generation. These include, in part, Forrest J. Ackerman, Paul Anderson, Isaac Asimov, Harry Bates, Iando Bender, Alfred Bester, James Blish, Robert Block, Nelson Bond, Anthony Boucher, Lee Brackett, Ray Bradbury, Frederick Brown, Arthur J. Burks, Edgar Rice Burroughs, John W. Campbell, Carell K. Peck, E.J. Carnell, Cleve Cartmill, Arthur C. Clark, Hal Kremen, Groff Cronklin, Ray Cummings, L. Sprague, D. Camp, Lester Del Rey, August Derleth, Ralph Milne Farley, Hugo Gernsback, M Mary Nattinger, H.L. Gold, Edmund Hamilton, Robert A. Heinlein, Robert E. Howard, E. Main Hall, Algelus Huxley, Malcolm Jameson, David H. Keller, Otis Albert Klein, C. M. Cornbluth, Henry Kuttner, Fritz Lieber, Mary Leinster, Willie Lay, Frank Belknap Long, H. P. Lovecraft, R. W. Lowndes, J. Francis McComas, Lawrence Manning, Leo Margali, Judith Merrill, Sam Merwin Jr., P. Schuler Miller, C. L. Northwest Smith Moore, Alden H. Norton, George Orwell, Raymond A. Palmer, Frederick Pohl, Fletcher Pratt, E. Hoffman Price, Ed Earl Rep, Ross Rocker, Eric Frank Russell, Nathan Shoner, Idris Seabright, also known as Margaret St. Clair, Clifford D. Simak, C. A. Smith, E. E. Doc Smith, Olaf Stapleton, Theodore Sturgeon, John Tain, William F. Temple, F. Orland Tremaine, Wilson Tucker, Jack Vance, A. E. Von Vaught, Donald Wandries, Stanley G. Weinbaum, Manly Wade Wellman, H. G. Wells, Jack Williamson, Russell Winterbotham, Donald A. Wolheim, Farnsworth Wright, S. Fowler Wright, Philip Wiley, John Windham, Arthur Leo Zagat, and all their illustrators. They're all worth reading each and every one.